Y'all wanna go out and do it? July 22, 2015, the Illinois State Board of Education released a report about English learning programs in Chicago public schools. The report found that CPS has only fully implemented 12 of the 45 components of English learning services mandated by the school district. The investigators talked to the teachers, the administrators, read files, and interviewed staff, but they failed to talk to the most important source, students. How is the Board of Education supposed to get accurate information about what's happening to students in classrooms and figure out how to solve these major issues if they don't talk to the very students that these programs affect? By failing to fully implement over 30 components of ELL services and by silencing student voices, CPS is sending the message that they simply do not care. So what comes next? First, we need students to be aware of the injustice we're facing and that we can make a difference. We have a solution. It's time for our schools to listen to us. Schools use a report card to grade their students, so we created a report card to grade our school. We asked students to grade CPS on services their school provides to immigrant and refugee youth. Here's what we discovered. Immigrant students are falling behind in school because they're getting pulled out of class to translate for other students or parents. Students don't know whether their security guards will protect them if they are a target of racial violence or bullying. English learner students rarely receive translation services for important school announcements. As a bilingual student, I was often put out of class to translate for parents or students who couldn't speak English. And it was kind of embarrassing for me because uh, it dealt with money issues or personal issues. And um, every time I went out of the class to translate, it took me one to two class periods, which is a lot. And then during the test, I realized, oh, I missed the session. Okay, there you go. I just missed it. And I can get it back. And during, uh, and when the when I got a call from the teacher that you have to come and translate for these parents, I couldn't. I just couldn't say no because my parents could have been in that position that they needed a translator, and I just couldn't say no. I have to go and translate for the for those people, and I personally feel that the administrators or the teachers should not be dependent on the students for translation and should invest more on the translators so that students won't have to go out of the class to translate. We are the affected students. And it's time for our schools to serve us. Ich bin hier zum Lernen, nicht zum Übersetzen. Estoy aquí para aprender, no para traducir. Ja to dla tego, żeby czytać, a nie przekładać. Ja to dla tego, żeby czytać, a nie przekładać. Please fill out our report card at www.kineticpower.org and make sure to share with your families and friends.